Okay, so we are gonna try a little format for a while, kind of traditional vlog, see how it works. Basically, I have a collection of events that have happened since I saw you last. I figured I would share it to you as I go for a walk to the post office and drop off the happy packages. So January kicked off pretty cool. I wrote an eight page article for George Magazine, which is John F. Kennedy Jr.'s entertainment and political magazine. It was always intended to be the intersection of politics, policy, and pop culture. Uh, it was really cool to be asked to write this article. And I not only go into the backstory of my life and my family's life, about how we wound up in California pursuing the entertainment business, I also explore some higher level themes like the global government's response to COVID-19 and uh, how the media is used to position certain outcomes. So I encourage everybody to give that a read. I'll probably end up just reading the article um, as a separate video, but check it out. It was, uh, it was awesome. I also recently got a chance to go to a friend's wedding in Cozumel. It's the first time I uh, had gone scuba diving in a long time. Look at this picture of me post scuba dive sucking on two uh, cans of compressed air. Looked like I went to a, a music festival at the Rafe Tent when I was 16. And in February, as part of a leadership program, I was invited into called Leadership Southern Maryland, which is a collective of 30 leaders across all sectors of the economy from defense, um, energy, healthcare, human services, government, etc., are all invited into this program to explore what each of these markets are like in the Southern Maryland region. Part of participating in the program, we had to volunteer with a local nonprofit. I chose, I chose the Arc of Southern Maryland, which is a group that works with uh, developmental and physical disabilities and um, advocates for not only funding, but resources for the community. As part of that, I was invited up to Annapolis by Senator Bailey and Delegate Morgan to participate in Developmental Disabilities Day and got a chance to cut just a fun little video to memorialize the event as a whole. My name is Mindy Cornette Shufflett and I am the Virtual Program Coordinator with the ARC Southern Maryland and I've been here for 17 years. Mm. My name is Dennis Reedy. I go there for Zoom. I go for out in the community, I run the district service. So the Arc of Southern Maryland provides services in Calvert Charles and St. Mary's County, um, and we provide services to individuals with intellectual disabilities to make sure they have access to their communities. That could be day program services, community development services, residential services, personal support services. Our goal is just to make sure that everybody has equal access to the community. Well, thank you guys for coming up here today. That you're welcome. welcome. This has been my third time speaking to legislators asking for funding. Not even just extras, but the normal day-to-day -day funding of the individual. The uh, team that are up to visit us today is one of my good friends, Denise Stokel, Steve Girard, Nicholas B. Police, Kevin Schmidt, and Jennifer Rayland. So remember, you went to school. Yes. Then you graduated. Yes. And then right after you graduated, I came to you. you came to the Arc of Southern Maryland. Yes. The budget for the staff, for the Arc of Southern Maryland staff. Okay. The budget. Arc of Southern Maryland has been our lifeline. 
care and invest in them. And I think that's what the Arkansas of the Mountain has given to me. There's nothing, you know, you shouldn't be really ashamed of your disabilities. And it's all right to be proud of who you are. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's okay. Hey, that's Amen. Really good point. That's good awesome. job. What was really cool is before I headed off to Mexico for my friend's wedding, I shared the video with uh, Senator Bailey and Delegate Morgan, and they were cool enough to share it on their platforms as well. It's been a pretty cool start to the beginning of the year, and uh, we will continue these recap walk and talks uh, as long as it makes sense. I hope everybody's doing well, sending you love, and cheers to a bountiful, thriving, loving, and uh, supportive 2023.